up guys, Commander Alex here and today I have a little bit of vainglory for you guys. So this video is starting off a little bit late just because I didn't get my recording software going quite early enough but um, it's still pretty much at the beginning of the video so I don't think it's too much of an issue. And right here we're going to be playing some Ringo. It is going to be an 8 and one game so really a uh, pretty nice KDR there and uh, let's just see how we make it work. So right here uh, I've already taken out the first camp and it looks like we're going to take out that second one with... Uh, very little life to spare. Ringo actually doesn't have that much health, so uh, we're definitely going to have to uh, go over to the shop and hopefully buy something to uh, give us a little bit more health and hopefully win the raid here. I don't know why I said win the raid. We're not playing Clash of Clans. Anyway, we're going to get into the shop here. It looks like uh, we can get some ability power right there. That's going to be really helpful because if we can take out one of the um, one of the minions that actually gives us like boost, like a health boost, that's going to be pretty much the same thing as backing. And it's also going to give us some extra gold. So right here we can hop in. Hopefully we can take this out without taking too much damage. And uh, it looks like we're going to take it down pretty quickly because of the uh, power that Ringo has behind him, which is kind of like his main thing here. If you're playing Ringo, you're really looking to build that um, ability power and just power down enemies without ever trying or without ever having to uh, to uh, really take too much damage. But right here, it looks like we're going to try and take on Jewel. Doing some pretty good damage to the turret, but the uh, the units at this level really just don't have that much health, so um, it's not too much of an issue. And as long as we don't get caught by her, it's not going to be a big issue at all. So right here, she's going to try and go back through the bush, but I definitely saw that. So we're going to see if we can sneak around and hopefully pick up some damage on her right here, which it looks like we can do pretty easily. She's about half health. I'm about three-fourths health, and uh, I'm definitely confident with that matchup. So she's going to have to pull out one of her little heal pots right there, which is not a big deal. I think that's only 25 gold. Um, but we can keep focusing her down, and it looks like she's not really going to be smart and uh, decide to get back at her turret quick enough. So we got her down to about one-third health there, and uh, we can obviously pester her a little bit more later on in the video. But for now, it looks like we're just going to hang out in this bush, see if we can see if we can get a gank, and then if we can't, we'll try out their jungle. But right here, it looks like one of my guys is messing with uh, his, I believe that's Kosha. And uh, yeah, we're going to take her out pretty easily. I think she may have gone AFK or had some issues with connectivity. Uh, the game is really having a lot of issues with connectivity lately because their servers are in Singapore and uh, it's a pretty um, intensive game as far as connecting and things go. So right here we're just going to uh, take out the minion wave, hopefully push that into the turret and start doing some damage on their turret. Although our jewel did take a turret hit right there so that's going to be a lot of damage on her. Alright, so moving on here, it looks like we can take out their minions pretty quickly, and we have a second minion wave coming in, so we're going to be able to push that all the way in and uh, get some good hits on that turret, but I'll allow my friend Jewel over there to do that, and I can come back down here to the bottom and uh, drop in at the shop and see what we can pick up for around 1,000 gold. So uh, hopping into the shop here, it looks like the boy battery is going to be what we're going to be getting, which is pretty smart since uh, Jewel or not Jewel, since uh, Ringo really does rely on his abilities. If you run out of energy, that's a big deal with him. So um, definitely a smart thing to pick up there. But right here, it looks like we can take down that minion for an extra 50 gold or so. And now we can pick up the gold mine pretty quickly here uh, for an extra, it looks like it's going to be about 150 gold, just judging on how full the gold mine is at this point. So we're going to get it down to, it looks like maybe a uh, fifth or so of its health. And uh, I'm going to start taking some damage. So uh, hopefully he's going to jump with he did right there and uh, that's going to be the win for us for 110 gold so not too bad of a payout and uh, that's going to make sure that if they try and to try and attack us in the jungle we can always run there and use the gold mine to our advantage so uh, that's a kind of an, a thing that people don't do a lot but it's really helpful if you're being attacked while jungling you can go to either your minion mines or you can go to the uh, gold mine if you control it and it'll act as like a second player helping you out because it'll target the uh, enemy player but right here it looks like we can pick up a pretty easy kill he's almost going to get that stun off which would have been a little bit deadly for me but it looks like we're going to kill him midair he's going to collapse on the ground and we're going to walk away with two kills because we already picked up one in the beginning now looking over here it looks like we can pick up their minion mine and once we have both the minion mines we really don't have to worry about uh, stationing someone inside of their uh, inside of the lane so we can kind of focus on their jungle focus on ganking and hopefully just pick up a lot more kills in general right here I'm just gonna steal some of their uh, minions it looks like we can take that top healing minion right there um, I'd call them healing minions but I don't think they actually have like a name but anyway we're gonna take out these bottom minions as well these are going to be some pretty nice gold for us and that's going to be uh, a lot of gold in the bank so now that we're at 1,300. It looks like we can go back to the uh, shop, and once we pick up an item, we might be able to go for a gank up top there. 
but we do have to pick up the shop first because uh, I always want to be topped off as far as uh, items go. So we can pick up the frost burn there. It's going to be a good deal of gold, but uh, definitely worth it. And once you get one of those like ultimate items, they're not really ultimate, but uh, one of the higher tier items, they really kind of uh, improves your game at all. And if you can get them before your enemy, you're more likely to be able to uh, win a battle just based on uh, damage that you can do and health that you have. But right here, it looks like we're gonna get some good hits on their turret. I'm gonna use my ultimate, which did a lot of damage, but uh, probably not the best use of it because if I do get ganked at this moment, I can't pull that ultimate on them and uh, kind of turn things around. But right here, we're gonna get their turret down to, it looks like maybe a third of its health, and uh, I have a second wave coming in, but he has uh, Jewel kind of walking in right there. Definitely two levels down for me, so not too much of an issue. It looks like one level down now. Um, but maybe we can uh, draw Jewel out into the jungle here. Here, heal. Uh, no, maybe we can draw Jewel out into the jungle here and uh, get some damage on her. It looks like she pulled her ultimate there, but that didn't really do much. Uh, poorly aimed ultimate, and I uh, really want to use that in close quarters when you're using Jewel. It looks like we can target her right here. She didn't even know I was there, and now we can start targeting her down. She's got me down to about half health, about a third health now. And uh, things are getting a little bit dangerous, but her jump stun failed, and now we can run back to our minion mine. And as I was saying before, you can always use your minion mines or your uh, teammates as uh, sort of like stuff. I don't know. Like, if you guys play sports, um, basically what happens is someone will stand and uh, they'll basically just block an enemy defender so that an attackman can get around. That's sort of what you're doing here, where you run by your player, and that player is then going to uh, try and take the heat from the enemy player. But right here, it looks like we're gonna pick up the kill from Jewel, and uh, he's gonna walk away with pretty much no health. And uh, we're also gonna pick up, it looks like a turret just based on our minions. So that's pretty nice. And now we can start working on their jungle and hopefully get some healing because I am pretty low on health at this point. So uh, we're gonna pick up this final minion down here at the bottom, minion, monster, whatever. Uh, looks like we can take that one out pretty easily and now maybe we can head back to the shop again because we're already over a thousand gold and I want to spend my gold pretty quickly to keep myself topped up on items. Uh, another thing I didn't really do in this video but I might have wanted to uh, was kind of use those mines. If you guys don't know, mines are really, really useful. So what you can do is you can not only use them as like wards and uh, sort of show where the enemy is on the map by placing mines in uh, opportunistic places like at minion mines, at the gold mine, at different uh, minion camps and stuff. That's a really good place to place them as well as you can uh, stack them all in one spot. And then if you're being attacked, you can use those as uh, as kind of like a getaway because they'll think that they have you on their run, but you're, re you're really just leading them into a giant trap. So right here, it looks like we took them out again in the air. Really cool animation when uh, Jewel dies in the air. It's like all limp and just crushes down. Really, really cool animation there, but it looks like we're gonna take her out for a fourth kill and now we can move on with uh, taking out this bottom minion right here, which looks like it's gonna give us some healing, which it did. So right now we're gonna get the uh, level two ability on our ultimate, which is pretty awesome. Once we get level three on that, we're pretty much set and uh, we don't have to worry about much else. I think that's because at level three, you are, you are maxed out as far as levels go because there's only 12 levels in the game. But, you know, we're going to lose Jewel right there. Uh, kind of disappointed, but um, I'm too low on health to really help, and I really don't want to try and take on two at once right here. It looks like Jewel is alone, though, so we can uh, drop a little bit of a pestering blow right there, and she's going to try and take me out, but I am going to turn on her so hard because I have a teammate right there. So uh, the teammate's going to drop a stun right there. I got stuck behind a wall because of the uh, pathfinding in this game, but it's all right. Uh, we're going to try and pick up the kill yet, and it looks like we can actually do it right here. So get a hit on her right there, get another hit, and uh, the turret still hasn't actually gotten a hit on me. So I'm going to be able to escape without actually being targeted by the enemy here. So that's really, really nice. And now we can uh, continue on with the battle here. So it looks like my minion mine's untouched. I don't know where she went, but there she is. She just popped up out of nowhere, and uh, that's an easy kill just because she didn't really have any like way to defend herself. She was definitely building only uh, damage and didn't have any health on her. So a couple hits and she was done. Right here, it looks like their jewel's getting a little bit frisky, but with our whole team here, there's really nothing he can do and he's gonna go down really quickly. Um, and it looks like the turret may go down as well. So I'm gonna drop a final ability right there. It looks like he's gonna get down to really, really a uh, little health, but it's not going to be enough to actually take him out. So pretty disappointed there, but we are gonna be able to take, up that tur take out that turret because uh, there's really no enemies left to defend it. So let's just uh, target that down right here. It looks like we're gonna do some pretty good damage and uh, they're gonna have a level one hero walk out here. Maybe AFK, not quite sure what happened there, but definitely no match for a level 10 Ringo. So 
we can uh, see if we can get a flank right here. Level two <laughs> did 392 damage to her, which is probably like half or a third of her health or something. Yeah, she's down to already half health by the time I actually targeted her. And now she's just really got no chance and she's gonna go down without a fight right there. So we're gonna be at uh, 1800, which is a pretty good number as far as gold. And I think we can pick up our next item pretty soon. But since there is this jewel right here, I do wanna see if I can get that kill, which it looks like I can right here. So we're gonna get a final kill hopefully with with the ability, is it gonna be? Oh, there it is, all right, so that was pretty clutch, guys. It looks like my teammate actually got taken out by the turret, so that's pretty pretty sad right there, but we got an assist, and uh, the enemy is pretty much done now because Jewel is their only uh, real threat. So at this point, we can target down this turret, which is going to give us an extra 300 gold, but uh, rather than kind of taking the time to do that, I'm gonna go back to base and uh, pick up an item because I already have over 2,000 gold. So we got our level 10 guy over there just chilling, and uh, we can pick up a Shatter Glass right there as well as a Blazing Salvo. And the uh, the combination of damage and attack speed is really just deadly on Ringo. And uh, by the time that I've gotten him to level 10, he's actually gonna have enough health to be able to just to be able to just, to be able to sustain. Um, yeah, but he's going to have enough health to be able to sustain through uh, pretty heavy attacks. So um, definitely happy about that. Sorry, that was my phone right there. Um, but yeah, he'll be able to sustain. And now we can see if we can take on this guy right here. It looks like our teammate's going to go in pretty early on him. No backup for him there. And uh, he's not going to be able to pick up a kill. But that's all right because he is going to clear out the minion wave, which means our minions are going to start attacking their turrets, which means that uh, the end of this video is going to be coming pretty soon, guys. So right here he's gonna try and again just target him down there but really she just doesn't have a lot of damage and uh, she's not gonna be able to do that much but it looks like I uh, did eventually be a, I was eventually able to uh, pull my ultimate right there and he tried to pull his ult his ultimate but uh, didn't do too much damage and at this point it looks like we can target him down right here for a win and uh, a good deal of damage on him so that's gonna be 195 gold as well as a turret or rather a, uh, a gold mine taken down so Pretty much just across the map, good things are happening, and at this point, I see no way that they can win unless we all get targeted down by one person, but uh, it doesn't look like that's going to happen. They're just going to sit in base, not really do much, and uh, we can pick up a few turrets right here, and hopefully the win. So, looks like we're going to get this one down to about half health, but Jewel's going to come out trying to fight, and uh, I think we can uh, definitely fight back here. So, we're both taking her out, and it looks like she just doesn't have a chance, but she is going to get back to base, and uh, things are going to go a little bit poorly now because I'm down at low health and I'm getting a little bit too frisky. I'm going to try and fight and I got stuck into her uh, little stun right there so I'm going to have to fight and my team isn't going to be able to save me. I'm actually going to go down just before Jewel does and that's going to be my only death of the game. So right here we can pick up a dragon heart. I was a little bit salty about dying and I didn't want to die again so I definitely picked up a little bit overkill um, armor there and I don't think I'll have to worry about that happening again because the video is almost over guys. So it looks like both both of these turrets are uh, next to dead and pretty soon they'll be dead. So we're gonna clear out that minion wave right here. I was just checking to see if I could buy anything else. And at this point, I think we can just uh, run in and take out the enemy turrets because the left one has already gone down and the right one is gonna go down just from that hero, I believe. But it looks like they actually uh, had their jewel spawn, which is really lucky for them because jewel is kind of the only unit that they have in their team right now that can do any damage to us. And uh, it looks like he's actually going to be able to fend away my team. So right now I'm 7-1. The rest of my team is, uh, is doing okay, I guess. Not, not great, but uh, they're not being a detriment to our team. So I'm pretty happy about that. And I'm going to pop my attack speed ability, which is also going to give me some uh, just general speed right here. So I pop my uh, ultimate right there. That's going to do some really, really nice damage to Jewel. And she's just really not doing any damage to me. And I actually sustained straight through her ultimate right there, which is kind of impressive because pretty much if you stay in Jewel's ultimate for the whole time, you're like guaranteed to be dead unless you have a lot of armor built. So uh, I was pretty impressed that I didn't die right there. But it looks like even with everything she's got, Jewel can't take me out. And uh, we're going to get a kill right there. So we're going to go 8-1 and one on this video. And it looks like with our whole team here, if there's not going to be anything that can stop us. And we can go in for this final turret. And once that's down for the Nexus. Or not for the Nexus. It's called a Life Crystal or something along those lines. Anyway, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And become a lieutenant today. I'll see you guys next time.